I'm not frugal with seasoning. It just doesn't need black pepper. Because black pepper is not a real seasoning. Put in the comments if you think black pepper is a real seasoning. There are so many better seasonings than black pepper. Oh, you're going to get added. I'm going to get, don't you at me. Don't you dare at me about oh, black pepper. He's got 20,000 dislikes on this video. <laughs>
Okay, that made quick work of it. It's way faster than me hand chopping. Thank goodness. And so this is soy sauce. It's uh, less sodium. So it's not full sodium, it's less sodium. And I'm gonna put, I don't know, a couple tablespoons and see what happens. It's probably three tablespoons instead of two. And yeah, I have no idea about this. It's very smoky smelling and it's thick. Oh goodness. Yeah, Probably stop there. The smell makes me think that it has an extremely strong flavor to it. So I don't think we should probably overpower it. Then we're gonna take some of Rectex Asian Persuasion and I don't know, I'm just gonna put some in and we're just gonna see what happens. That feels like a lot. I don't know. <laughs> And from the other research that I've done, I heard that it is better to mix with your hands because I guess what's cooking if you don't get a little dirty. So I'll pull that out. I guess we'll just dive in. Well, this is a lot of vegetables for only two pounds of meat. I might have overdone it with the veggies. Might have to grab, get in the freezer and grab out some more meat. Oh, it might be fine. Since I've never made this before, I'm just gonna kind of play with it and see how it's binding together. We may have put too many water chestnuts in there, <laughs> but it seems like it's coming together a little, it's coming together pretty good. I feel like I wanna put one more egg in there to see if that helps. Oh, that's a lot of shell. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, honey. All right, I'm going to wash my hands, move this out of the way, pull a pan out and fry a little bit of it up and see what it tastes like and see if we need to tweak anything. I'm gonna use some of the bear fat, put it in the pan, let it heat up so that we can try and see if this is any good. Oh yeah, it is. So a lot of people will not pre-cook the lumpia mixture, but we are going to, one, because I would rather do that, and two, since this is bare, we need to make sure 100% that it gets to temperature before we eat it. So you don't get trichinosis yep. and have little worms crawling through your muscle. You know, maybe forever. But it's fine. Probably won't die. Hey, little guy. So we're going to let this sit for, you know, overnight until we get to it tomorrow and let all the flavors that I apparently didn't put enough of in meld together and really seep into the bear meat before we throw it on the rec tech tomorrow to smoke. And uh, we'll have to pull the, uh, we did not buy lumpia wrappers because after researching it, I guess lumpia wrappers are really, really thin. So we went with spring roll wrappers instead because I don't have any finesse when it comes to stuff. So I decided I probably need a hardier wrapper than a lumpia wrapper. So we're gonna use spring roll wrappers. Anyway, they're in the freezer right now. So I have to pull them out and let them thaw out and then pull them apart individually so that we can wrap them tomorrow. So anyway, I guess we will see you manana. All right, we're back. Day two, our meat has been sitting in the icebox for a little less than 24 hours. And all those flavors have 
Apparently melding is not a word Ryan was telling me yesterday. I feel like it's a word though, but I'm gonna use it anyway. They've been melded together. Um, Ryan made this invention. Here's, these are the throwaway baking dishes, roasting pans. Those are rocks from our backyard. Then he poked holes all in this roasting dish so that the juice will dry off into the bottom of the pan. We're gonna do this a little bit different. I'm gonna put this in the pan like a meatloaf and we are going to put it on the rec tech and we're gonna smoke it, oh, 30-ish minutes or so. Um, we wanna make sure that the bear's done so we'll throw a probe in there. But ground meat takes on a ton of or a ton of smoke flavor very quickly so it shouldn't take very long on the low smoke setting to get the flavor that we want in the meat. And then if we need to raise the temperature to bring the bear up to temp, then we can do that. While it's out there, I'm going to let the spring roll shells thaw out. I bought them at a local Asian market and they were frozen and it takes about 30-ish minutes to thaw them out and then we'll have to go through and peel them off individually to get them ready for. All right, so I'm just gonna dump this in. Oh no, losing it, I'm losing it. Come back. Oh, that meat didn't look like it got mixed real well right there. I'm keep that edge loose so I can put the probe in it. Alright, so this is the Bullseye RT380. Rectech's doing a sale on them right now if you go over to their website. We absolutely love this. We probably cook on this more than any other uh, Rectech grill that we have. It's small, it heats up really quickly, um, it moves well into small places. Ryan likes to throw it off the back of the truck occasionally. Not this one specifically, but one just like this. And uh, alright, let's get started. Is it 200 degrees? Stick the probe in the meat. Well down around it. And that just fits all nice and perfect, bud. And uh, one of the things that we really like that Rectech did is that you can actually go through different settings on the front and see what the actual temperature, the set point temperature, and the meat temperature is just by hitting temp display. So we're at 200 degrees right now for our actual, our meat's at 39 degrees, and we have the set point on low. So I wanna keep an eye on the meat temperature, and so I'm just gonna leave it on, I'm just gonna leave it on that setting. So see you in 30 minutes. So Ryan had an afterthought after we'd already put it on about taking the foil off so that like the meat gets some coloration and gets more smoke. So we took the foil off and smoked it for about 45 minutes, put the foil back on and cranked it up to 350. And the meat is now at 152 degrees. I'm gonna stir it real fast. Let you guys see what it looks like. That smells really good. All right, well, we've hit our 160 degrees that we needed to with this bear. We are gonna take it off, let it cool inside before we put it in our wrappers. Okay, here are our spring roll shells. And after some research, found that we should probably peel them first. This is a wet paper towel to help keep the moisture in and we'll put another wet paper towel over the top. That way we're not using our nasty hands and trying to peel off the, the sheets one at a time while we're doing that. So I'm just gonna preview this. Not sure how this is gonna go. Never done this before. Might be going back to the store and buying more. Oh, that came off pretty easy. So we are having some of our friends come over and they are going to help us pack these and roll them. So I don't have to do all of them by myself. So I'm offsetting them 
so that they're easy to pick up. So we can just grab a corner and go. One billion years later. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> oh, uh, Natalia? Well, I already know my name. Everybody knows me. Ricky? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's just one. Yeah. Okay, I was like, there's like nothing on it. Perfect. And then we cover it with another damp cloth until we're ready to go. Keep some moisture in. So, just a little bit on there. I don't know how much. Oh, this one's even smaller. We have six wrappers left. We had 50, so that makes 44 oddly shaped lumpias. <laughs> some of them Thanks, are, Natalia. Some of them are larger than others. <laughs> and we are gonna take the oil out to the matador and get it hot and we're gonna start frying up. All right, so the oil's a little hot right now. It's at 375, we want it at 350, but it's gonna cool off when we put the lumpia in. We're cooking on the Rectech Matador right now. We've got some peanut oil in there. And we're gonna do a test run on one and just like see what happens. Cause I've never done this before. Nice, it floats. This is the right coloration. It looks all crispy, and nice, and brown. I'm gonna throw that on this rack and let the oil drain off of it. Here's another one of uniform size that I think I'm also going to throw on the rack. That looks done enough. I'm I'm glad that we pre-cooked our bear, especially since it needs to be at a certain temperature. I don't know that I would trust cooking bear like this. Because it would be hard to verify that every single lumpia was 160 degrees internally. So, not upset that we did that beforehand. Which of course, if you guys do something besides bear, there's a lot of people that don't pre-cook their meat before they uh, put it in the wrapper and they just use the frying as the cooking part, but I kind of like that we did the way we did. But you do you. So what, are you be off anyway. what are you doing, Ricky? I am drinking and keeping flies away from the lumpias. Ricky's on fly duty. <laughs> He's doing a fantastic job. So we fried all of those in peanut oil and we've got five left. So we're going to use some of our bear fat that we made, some of our bear grease, and we're gonna fry the rest of the five in this and see what happens. It's probably gonna pop me. Oh, okay, good. Oh, we're good. Yeah, that'll be good. Oh gosh, it's greasy on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is bear fat that we rendered from our Oregon bear hunt. So you guys need to watch the uh, two-part uh, series on our Oregon bear hunt. And then when we got back, we made bear fat from that bear. So you need to watch that video too, because it's pretty cool. And it's pretty exciting to actually use this in cooking since we made it. And I think this is gonna, I actually think these are gonna be my favorite. There's four of us to try them. There's five left. I'm getting two. <laughs> and it smells so good. I don't know what it is about the difference in the oils, but bear fat smells fantastic. Oh, this is, browning up a whole lot faster. Okay. 
Okay, great. So we're gonna be dipping in the Tacta Calories grilled pineapple margarita stir fry sauce and salsa, which I think will go good with this, but I wanna try first without the sauce and see what it tastes like. So, yeah, yeah I mean, you do you, you do whatever you want, but I'm gonna try. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. Mm-hmm. You like? Mm. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh sweet Jesus. The second the second bite was even better. Alright, so that was wow. so fantastic. Mm. This one was fried in the bear grease. a really good flavor to it. It's actually a little greasier than the other ones. I wonder if it's just because it hadn't sat long enough. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, but the flavor on that is so good. Mm. Maybe we should have cooked the rest of them. I'm on board. All right, so my turn. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. The whole crew, we had a big team event here, so stay tuned, <laughs> like. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Like, subscribe, <laughs> uh, share our videos. Thank you guys, we're out.